With RIT all-purpose dye, you can dye fabrics containing natural fibers like cotton, linen, wool, or silk, and also rayon and nylon. I'm going to dye samples of a bunch of different fabrics and see what happens. Pre-wash the fabric to remove any finishes so the dye will absorb better. Use enough water so the fabric can move around freely. The hotter the water, the better, so use really hot tap water or heat the water until it's almost boiling. From here, you can use the stovetop method where you keep the dye bath on a low simmer throughout, which will get the darkest, richest colors. Or you can dye in a container or a stainless steel sink. I'm dyeing the samples in two batches because some of the fabric likes salt added and some likes vinegar instead. Shake the dye well and add it to the water. As a general guideline, for every pound of fabric, use half a bottle of liquid dye or one package of powder dye in three gallons of water. To get dark or saturated colors, double the amount of dye. I'm using half a cup in each to get a very saturated purple. Add salt to the dye bath for cotton, linen, and rayon fabrics, or add vinegar for silk, wool, and nylon fabrics. I'm adding about half a cup of each, but add more for larger projects. Stir well. Put the wet fabric in the dye bath. In the salt dye bath, I'm putting in bleached and unbleached muslin, 100% cotton broadcloth, and two different poly cotton blends, natural canvas, cotton jersey, scrim, chintz, Irish linen, rayon chalet, natural burlap, white sultana burlap, and polyester gabardine. In the vinegar dye bath, I'm putting in silk chiffon, silk organza, silk habute, silk shantung, 100% wool felt, rayon wool blend felt, coated nylon oxford fabric, nylon stretch lace, nylon crystal organza, and nylon glitz sequins. Stir continuously for anywhere between 15 minutes to an hour. Take it out sooner for lighter colors or leave it in longer for darker colors. Make sure the dye is getting to all parts of the fabric so it won't be splotchy. Here's a couple tips for dyeing. Wear gloves whenever handling the dye and cover any surfaces that need protection before starting. Dry clean only and fabrics that can't withstand heat shouldn't be dyed, but if you want to try, test out a small piece first. Keep in mind that most clothing is made with polyester thread, which won't dye with RIT all-purpose dye. Dyeing white fabrics has the best results. You can dye other colors, but the original color may affect the outcome. You can use RIT color remover first to get rid of as much color as possible. Remove the fabric from the dye bath when it reaches your desired color. Keep in mind, fabric looks darker when wet. We suggest using RIT Color Stay Fixative before rinsing to increase color retention and reduce bleeding. For small projects, you can spray the fixative directly on the fabric until saturated, or for larger items, mix it in a water bath according to the instructions on the bottle. Let it sit for 20 minutes. Rinse the fabric with warm water, then cooler water until it runs clear. And finally, hand wash or machine wash with warm water and air dry or tumble dry with an old towel.